have a wedding bridal set or maybe a vow renewal. I kind of took this from our colors that we used when we got married. We've been married almost 34 years now, so I think it's time that we have a set of cookies made in our honor. <laughs> I started off with the uh, light green leaf green clay, I'm sorry, fondant, um, just mixing it thoroughly. And from that fondant, I wanted more of a smoky, um, dusty colored tone for this set. So I added a little bit of chocolate brown and a little bit of blue to um, just change the colors up a little bit. Our colors were seafoam green when we got married, but we've been married a long time, so these colors are antique now. But I do love this color palette, and I just thought it would be a great way to make a beautiful set. I've used the bridal gown silicone mold to make an embellishment to go on one of the cookies. I simply started with white fondant clay and fondant dough in the mold and then I took the gold edible art paint and highlighted it to make the beautiful creation that you see there. I'm also going to be using a lot of little roses to go on this set so I'm using that silicone mold as well. Let's start with our green color first. This is a dusty green. Remember that we made with a little bit of chocolate brown mixed in. I'm going to use our tropical leaf embosser to begin with. My clay is a good consistency so the deboss, em, embosser goes into it quite easily. And then I'm going to take the um, Chadwick cutter and cut out that first print that I want to make. I just simply push down, give a little bit of a wiggle and it makes a clean cut every time. Then I'm using my cake knife, my cake lifter, to pull it off of the surface and it, it comes off fairly easily. And then we use our edible glue to attach it to the cookie. This edible glue is not thick. I don't like a really thick one. I want it to be able to lay down and not be seen underneath the cookie. And then just line up your edges and lay it down. Again, it's very forgiving. You can pick it back up. You can move it around, give a little bit of a tug, a little bit of stretch every now and again and work it into place. Now we're ready to add our bridal dress to our cookie. That's why I say a good plaque and a lot of different little plaques that you have in your set are always wonderful because you can take it and just make something as simple as this, add a fondant accent on it. Even if it's a cookie that you're coating in royal icing, take that fondant accent and set it right into the royal icing while it's wet and you're done. Next up, we're going to use our arched window cookie cutter. This just looks like an arched window that comes out of an old hacienda or an old Spanish church. But I'm going to use the debosser again first. I use the debosser, I can use it in several different ways. Sometimes I'll use it while it's still, um, you know, while it's not on the cookie. Sometimes I wait until I put it on the cookie if I don't have to press too hard. But this is going to be a two-layered cookie. I'm starting with um, cutting out the first layer. I'm not worried about the bottom because I'm going to be cutting that off. Okay, and just lift it up, lay it over to the side and you're ready for your next layer. Now I'm going to roll out some white fondant, do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to be using the bottom of this cutout. So I'm not worried about the top. Lay your first layer on top and then just simply cut it apart where you want to uh, make this, this split. Take off the bottom, take off the top and then put the two layers together on your cookie. Lining it up with the edges. Okay. 
And then we pick up the bottom part of our fondant and put that at the bottom. Clean up your edges with your finger. Be careful not to put your finger into it. And there you have a nice two-toned cookie. I love the texture and I love the contrast of the colors and the texture here. Now let's do something in the middle to cover up the seam that we have left behind. I'm going to take our rose silicone mold to make a nice pretty rose. I'm choosing to use the same color that I used on the top part to kind of make it blend in a little bit. Now, I originally thought I was going to put some leaves over to the side of this, but then I decided a little bit differently. And in our final picture, I actually used pearls to cover up the edges, and it really turned out pretty. Cutting off the top of your silicone mold, bring it up a little bit and pop it out, and that quick you have a rose. I do like to make uh, roses with royal icing, but sometimes they don't turn out very good. So this is really an easy way, especially if you're a beginner. Um, fondant is just an absolutely easy way to go. Next, we're going to be making a heart cookie. And with this one, I'm just going to use our heart stencil. This is the same stencil that you would use with royal icing or with airbrush. Um, our stencils are six mil thick, and so they make a good impression. It's not as deep as our cookie embossers, but it does leave just a beautiful pattern on the cookie. Simple and easy. Then I take the heart cookie cutter and recut out the, the fondant. It's the same cookie cutter that I used to cut out my cookie, so it's the exact same shape. Um, the cookie dough that I use does not spread when I bake it, and so we usually have a very good fit. Isn't that pretty? I just love this design. It makes a great companion cookie, and you can leave it as, it, as is, or you could add a flower to it, maybe another rose to it. Our next cookie is going to be using our Mr. and Mrs. print, or embosser, excuse me. This embosser was one that I really just, I didn't know what, if I were going to use it or not, but when the final product is made, this is more of a prototype. When the final product is made, it will have a covering on the back of it, but isn't that pretty? I just love this. I found this design and felt like it would just make a great embosser. It really turned out great. So as we attach it to our cookie, I want to do a little bit more to it. Of course, you can leave it the way it is, but I think I want to use some of that edible art paint on it. So let's attach it to the cookie. And when you begin to use edible art paint, make sure that you shake it very well. The, every time you use it, the, set of the uh, particles are going to fall to the bottom and it's going to end up separating. So make sure you shake it very well when you get ready to um, use it. I'm going to take a little bit and put it out. A little bit goes a long ways. And this is it's, it's not super expensive, but it's expensive enough. So just take out what you need. I'm using my fine brush, my detail brush, and I'm just painting those raised edges of the rose. Be careful not to get in the um, crevices underneath. I continue on around the wreath portion of the cookie until I have it all covered. These gold accents just really stand out. I love this design. That one's definitely going into our catalog. Next up, I want to do one for my husband and I. His name is Miles, and we've been married, like I said, almost 34 years. 
so I made a uh, stamp that would be more customized to just our initials and we are going to be offering those customized stamps and bossers and debossers in our store um, so that you can order whatever initials and saying that you would like and I can print it up for you and have it out to you in no time. But I just think when you add a personal touch to any set of cookies, it makes it so much fun. So I used our initials, M and C, and then I put our date or the year that we were married. There it is. That easy. It's right there into the fondant. So I did do this, even overlaid it on the print that was left by the um, embosser. So. It gave it a, a lot of dimension, but I thought that corner over there to the left needed a little bit of a flower or something, so I'm using our um, silicone mold from the dogwood flower set and I'm going to make some leaves to start off with. This does have a smaller leaf in it, but I prefer just to make the two just to make the larger leaves and then I want to cut one of them down to make it a little bit smaller to go on one side. And then I'm just going to take my knife and curve up the edges. And you can use a fondant mat and really shape it as, as you know the way that you would want it to be. And then we're going to add our uh, rose from our rose set. This set has several different sizes of the same rose so they can be layered for a great effect. And there we have it. A nice personalized cookie for our wedding anniversary. And of course the set's not complete unless you put a cookie stick in it. So on this one I wanted to take a little bit of that lighter green and mix it with the white and make a marble effect. So I didn't mix it in really well. I just really just left it to its own to see um, all the different variations of the colors. I like that effect. Again, I used the cookie stick cutter to cut out our shape. And I went ahead on this one and put it on the, the cookie stick. I'm going to use the congratulations embosser to make a print. And if you've ever tried to write congratulations on a cookie stick, it is not easy. There's a very small space. And I'm not great with writing on cookies anyway, unless I have a projector, but this is very quick and easy. Um, boom, it's done just that fast. Of course, I can't let it go. I have to add something over to the corner. So I'm using one of our, one of the small leaves um, from that same mold that I used before the dogwood mold. One of our small roses. Look at that tiny rose, isn't that beautiful? I did that in the blue, the dusty blue color. And there you go. Another cookie set is done. But you know, I wanted something to send home with people as they came to help us celebrate our anniversary. And so I decided to make some of the thank you cookies. I wanna just make these, pop them in a bag, seal them up with a ribbon, and that'll be something that they can take home. You know, I have a lot of orders for people who are wanting just a party gift for their guests to take home after a wedding reception or a bridal shower. And these really do make a great statement. They simply say thank you with a heart. And that lets your guests know that you really enjoyed having them and you're very thankful that they came to celebrate your special occasion. I want to add even more detail by taking my fondant tool and just placing a small hole in each one of the scalloped edges. It kind of gives it an eyelet trim um, to go around your cookie. And there we have it, a thank you cookie. Now you can leave as is or you can highlight it with the gold edible art paint as I did here. I just love this set. This set is so pretty. 
pumpkin would be perfect for an anniversary celebration. Now here's another set that I made. This set was done in purple and white, very simple. I used our Sweetheart Bridal Gown cookie cutter, as well as the Chadwick cookie cutter and the Arched Window cookie cutter. On the arch cutter, I also used our heart embellishment from our silicone heart silicone mold. I painted a gold stripe on the cookie before laying the fondant on top and then just simply cut out the strip to reveal the gold stripe. I thought that was a neat touch to it. I used the Mr. and Mrs. Debosser to make the plaque cookie at the top and used the gold edible art paint to highlight the edges. So as you can see, it's very easy and very quick to make a set of cookies using fondant and fondant accents. So give it a try. I know that you'll enjoy it as much as I did. We have a full page of fondant and icing tools on our website, sweetsfromthesoul.com. We have silicone molds as well as the embossers and debossers, and I'm adding more to our shop each week. So Come back and see us soon and take a look at all the things that we have to offer at SweetsFromTheSoul.com. Thank you for watching. For, this font, for the fondant recipe and all of these supplies, you can find it all in our blogs and on our website at SweetsFromTheSoul.com. Have a great day and